The ARC spray welding procedure is a quality, economical, cylinder block repair process. When applied correctly, it will restore material in worn or damaged areas. Here you can see the prep work required before we apply the welding material. The worn areas around the water direction holes are still present even after the deck has been machined and blasted. The deck is now ready to have the spray weld material applied. The cleaning, blasting, heating, and masking are complete. The application process requires numerous parameters to be followed. This step will make or break the quality of the weld. The distance between the welding head and the cylinder block, along with the speed at which the head travels across the component and the relationship of the head angle as compared to the block surface are just a few of the items that are critical to control. With the spray weld applied, the deck surface is now ready for the rough machining stage. As you can see, overspray is kept to a minimum by properly masking. Our goal is to keep spray weld out of unwanted areas such as bolt holes, dowel holes, oil galleries, and coolant areas. The initial machining process is similar to machining a raw casting. The deck is rough and very abrasive. During this process, our technicians restore all proper deck angles, concentricity between the upper and lower bores, and also the height of the block from the front to the rear. Once all the OEM dimensions have been restored, we now repair the liner seat area with the installation of a cast iron insert. Note how some bolt holes and water direction holes have been cleaned and others still need the excess blended. The finished deck now looks like a new block. The surface has been checked for proper finish requirements. The decks have had a sealer applied and all edges have been hand ground to match the original casting. Here you can see the thickness of the spray weld after it has been applied and machined. Most cylinder blocks leave our facility with around 35 thousandths material. We restore blocks to the maximum new height specification. Our spray weld had been analyzed by an OEM laboratory and found to far exceed their requirements for bond strength. We have actually welded components for use in OEM rebuilds. Our bond strength averaged a tensile strength of more than 7200 PSI, which is almost three times greater than the OEM requirements. Our spray weld restoration can save the customer as much as 75% of a new replacement cost on most CAT model engines. The injection pump mounting surface on 3400 series CAT blocks is another good area for spray welding. The fretting that occurs between the bottom of the pump and the block mating area can lead to premature o-ring leakage and could also lead to gear train clearance issues should the injection pump gear move too close to the camshaft gear. We follow the same guidelines when we spray weld repair any component, regardless of the area. Here we are restoring the thrust surface on the crankshaft main bore of a large Cummins engine. Since this is not considered a common wear area, we are spray welding this area by hand. Our technicians have many years experience spray welding. We consider this an art form similar to painting cars. Republic Diesel has been performing various spray welding repairs for over 30 years and specializing in cylinder block deck restoration for more than 20 years.